loyal servant, return to me at last. Yes, master, I'll do anything, anything you ask. I'm here. It's been so long, 13 long years. I've desired to see you again, and I'm here. I'll do anything. Okay. I need you to milk my snake. What? <laughs> what? My snake. I need you to milk it. It's a metaphor for something? Mr. Weasley, Mr. Weasley, is it true the Death Eaters are back? Mr. Weasley, Mr. Weasley, I, I heard the Death Eaters were, uh, were torturing muggles. Is that true? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're out there. They're back. Woo. Uh, excuse me, I just had a, like, too hot dog. I'm tired, guys. They're back. What can I say? They're back. I'm going to go home. Do me a favor, don't print this until tomorrow. Wait for after I call my wife. I'm not going to call her now. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Man, it's been a long night. I almost shot my son. I got to go to bed. <laughs> Woof. Lemon drop. Come in. Uh, Headmaster Dumbledore, Mad-Eye Moody is down in the classroom. He's putting the entire class under the Imperius Curse. Sorry, did you say something? I was reading, I was reading the paper. What did you say? Mad Eye Moody is using one of the unforgivable curses on the student body. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We, we talked about it. We hashed it out. And it was like his whole thing is don't they have to know about it? And it made honestly, it made a lot of sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't given it a lot of thought. Oh, what is this? Why is it? I did not know you have little babies here at Hogwarts. <laughs> Hello, little baby. Did you lose your mummy? What is little baby doing here? Do they need us outside? Little baby, can you speak yet? I'm, uh, no, I'm the, my name came out of the Goblet of Fire. I'm the fourth champion. What? Hey, Mike, this is his time, Marine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I just want to talk to you about the Triwizard Tournament. Or should I call it the Quad Wizard Tournament now? Because they got this Harry Potter kid in there. I got a friend. His kid goes to Hogwarts. He's telling me, get this, three wizards supposed to uh, be in the tournament. Next thing you know, boom, fourth name pops out. It's Harry Potter, and the kid isn't even of age. It's freaking bullshit, Mike. Excuse me. I, I know this, we're on the radio. I can't say that. I think it's bullshit, Mike. And, you know, this kid, Vic Crumbs, this kid can fucking fly, Mike. I, excuse my French. I apologize again. And I agree with Igor that this is crazy that this kid, this little kid is in this, Mike. The four wizards, it's a tri-wizard tournament. You can't have four wizards. What do you think, Mike? I got to know what you think about this. I'll take my answer off the air. Thank you. And next, I call Ludovic Bagman to stand trial for passing information to the followers of Voldemort. <laughs> what the... Quiet in the courtroom, please. <laughs> Ludo, you have been accused of passing information that has helped Voldemort. What do you say? Hey, man, like it was like a fucking accident. Yeah! <laughs> Let him go! Play it! Ludo! Be quiet! Can I have your autograph? Quiet in this courtroom! Please! Many have died because of the infant. Oh, boo! Boo! We're born once! We're born once! We're born once! And yet you ran from my mark when a faithful Death Eater sent it into the sky last summer. You have disappointed me. I expected more faithful service. I expect more faithful service in the future from you. Zach Cram and Isaac should stand here, but they are on vacation. They say they were faithful. But where were they? When the Dark Lords needed them? When we called Binge Mode together, where were they? When we were in the forests of Albania drinking snake milk, where were they? We will repay them in time. Dumbledore, this is preposterous. I tell you, Corny Fudge, he is back. Voldemort is back. Harry here witnessed it. Barty Crouch Jr., his very presence here in these halls uh, speaks to it. Barty himself will tell you what has happened. We have the dead body of Cedric Diggory. Your own head of the Department of International Magical Cooperation's son was seen to be a Death Eater. He himself was put under the Imperious Curse and now he's dead. He's just a bone in Hagrid's yard. Or was. Until he was used to raise Voldemort again. What more do you need to say? Oh, come on. What? First of all. A bone? 
And you're going to believe uh, who? Harry Potter? And Barty Crouch Jr.? Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Barty Jr. Ah. Uh, listen. About Barty Jr. It's like, I... You know, he, he was he broke out of Azkaban, and so it was like, you got to bring him back to Azkaban. Uh, so I had one of the guards come. <laughs> one of the Dementors? Yeah, one of the... I thought I said no Dementors on school grounds. I, you did say that, and I forgot that you said that. I was looking at some old emails, and I was like, oh, yeah, he said that. But that was like months ago, a long time, and I just forgot. Anyway, uh, the Dementor sucked out Barty's soul, and it's like, we can't. He's just done. <laughs> Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Cut. Let's, uh, let's really amp it up. Amp it. You're mad at him. You're angry at him. Okay. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Cut. Yeah. Like, really run at him. Really just run at him. Like, you want to kill, strangle this kid, and if it wasn't for the fact that everybody's here, you, you might do it. Okay. Uh, I have my copy of the book here, <laughs> and I, I just feel compelled to note that it says quite clearly here, calmly. He said calmly? 